So the stereo EEG uh, is a technique of um, a frameless uh, insertion of depth electrodes in, into the brain um, and doing it using uh, three-dimensional information. In, uh, previously, we did, uh, we did put depth electrodes into the brain, but using a frame. And this was an, is, a, is an easier way to do it. And um, it, it is a technique with a, a morbidity rate that is lower. Uh, about 1% of patients may have an area of bleeding or an infection in relationship to the insertion of the stereo EEG. Uh, so it is a, an added technical advance in terms of helping us localize where seizures are coming from. Now, it's not the whole answer, but it's definitely part of the answer that has helped us with localization. One of the problems in um, finding an area of where the seizures are coming from is putting your recording equipment in an area where you think the seizures are coming from. Now, what we've done over the years is used uh, grids where you put a, a grid of electrodes over the surface of the brain. And that's very good for evaluating uh, a spread pattern when you're looking at seizures that are over the surface of the brain. But um, the brain has enfoldings. There are gyri and sulci. And if the origin of the seizure is at the depth of the sulcus, having grid electrodes is not going to give you that information. So that's it's very good to think of using SEEG or stereo EEG um, because if you have an idea of where the seizures are coming from, you can put depth electrodes or these stereo e electrodes into the depth of the brain where these deeper gyri are that will give you more information. So often it's very useful if you have either a lesion that is deep um, in order to give you better localization data or sometimes using it in combination with grid electrodes so you can get three-dimensional information of where seizures are coming from. It's really an evaluation technique. So it's the kind of thing that if you are considering surgery in a patient with epilepsy, if you're going to be removing an area of tissue that is causing seizures, being able to have SEEG as a additional tool in order to three-dimensionally evaluate where the seizures are coming from uh, and the fact that it uh, can be used using a robot without a frame has made that technique much easier to use and has added to our ability to localize the epileptic focus.